Brazil, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Eastern Europe, Weimar Republic, Germany, that once the yuppies buy in to the immorality of robbing everybody below them, then they're going to have it all taken from them as well. Stay there. I want you to continue on that key point, amazing point that Stefan just made. Stay with us. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Diamond Gusset is proud to announce the anthem of the Patriot Movement. They're offering a free CD, T-shirt, and bumper sticker with a qualifying purchase. Diamond Gusset offers great products at great prices while keeping Americans I'm working. looking for a factory where a man can feed his family. Not worried about them moving it south. Closing the doors and shutting her down tomorrow. I'm looking for America. Wear American and be proud. Go to gusset.com forward slash America. The land of the free and the home of the brave. Seems like I just woke up one day and it was gone. Long gone. But I know in my heart it's still Again, go to gusset.com. Forward slash America Today. Hi, this is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about the delicious, easy to fix, and very storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. I've told you for years that eFoodsDirect has the best storable food on the planet. Now it's that time of year again, and their holiday special is here. They have two holiday price packs for you to put into your reserves for a secure future or to share with others. The first is a six-month bulk supply in 10 cans. And the second is a five-week supply of quick and easy-to-fix meals, including delicious bakery items shipped in heavy tote bags. Now, for a limited time, when you order two or more of these special holiday packs, you'll get free shipping on your entire order. Call now, 800-409-5633, or visit them at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. That's 800-409-5633 or efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. We're going back to Stefan Molyneux to cover a host of issues and... where he sees the human awakening going, how he sees the collision between the criminal cadres and free humanity in the future. Uh, we're going back to him here in just a moment. Uh, don't forget we're doing some key search terms today. We want to make these search terms uh, number one so we can reach uh, a lot of people uh, out there. And if you go up to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, you can get this story. Is mass bird and fish die-off connected to government testing? And then when you read through the article, you learn it is government uh, or this criminal organization known as government that is the number one suspect uh, in the mass bird die-off in Arkansas. And when people read the article, they won't just learn about the birds. They'll learn about all of the or many of the admissions of the government actually murdering innocent people in cold blood just to see if they could get away with it. 
They are exempt from the laws that they erect to ensnare us. So we're doing the search term bird government testing. That's one search term. Put those three words into Google. And then the second search term uh, is end game. Two words, end game. Uh, dealing with my film uh, that's free at YouTube uh, that's over two hours long, very well done, uh, that uh, covers the entire globalist depopulation program. Because knowing their operation is half the battle, as G.I. Joe uh, would say. Uh, also, yes, all of my films are available for free online. We promote that, we push that. Because the general public is still in a myopic morass of, of, of literal dream state. But those of you who support what we do, you make it possible. And you get the films first, and you get them in higher quality, and there's a better download function, and you get the live video stream and the higher quality audio podcast. And I ask PrisonPlanet.tv members, who pay 15 cents a day, five ninety five a month, to support us by uh, getting a membership. But uh, every year in December and a little bit into January, We've got a deal where you can get five months free when you sign up. You pay for 6.7 months, you get 5.3 months free is what it comes out to. And we're not the government coming with a gun and pointing it right at your head and saying, give me this money or I'm going to blow your head off. But then notice that the government then lies and tries to demonize the liberty movement whenever we try to fund ourselves. As if it's wrong for me to even put films out for free, but then say, if you want it in the highest quality and to support us, Buy the DVDs, the T-shirts, the ball caps, the materials at InfoWars.com, which also further spread the word. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we need the capital to fund our operation, to continue growing and engaging the globalists. And who can deny we're at the tip of the spear thanks to your support and the information we cover and my great crew and the Genesis Network and all of our affiliates. But I want to make it very plain again. Now is the time to get a PrisonPlanet.tv membership. Now is the time to get multiple memberships and give them to friends and family. You just create multiple memberships with username and passcodes and then give them the username and passcode uh, in a email as a card. And then you give them the gift of reality, the gift of awakening, the gift of understanding. All I'm trying to get people to do is to simply question things and to study history. And if you do that, you'll realize we're not in Kansas anymore, and this cycle of corruption is coming to a head in a very violent way. But thanks to your support, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of people just in the last few years have seen our films for free on different online video platforms. The file sharing, the YouTube, the Google. And it's an exponential growth curve to the point of I got Nightline down here interviewing me, Rolling Stone for a cover story. I mean, MSNBC. And yeah, most of them are hit pieces, but they're having to respond because we've developed a giant monster audience that is active. And the system is now understanding that ignoring us hasn't worked for them. It's backfired. So they're now having to engage us. We've got the big guns trained on us. What did Gandhi say? First, they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they attack you. Then you win. So now is the time to spread the word about InfoWars.com, what we do more than ever. And other great activists uh, out there, of course, uh, like our guest who joins us, Stefan Molyneux of FreeDomainRadio.com. Okay, Stefan, you got cut off by the break and my gibbering. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was getting into the fact of, because I always bring in another element, about how right is in Europe and the United States and England and Canada, right as people have been paying into these Social Security Ponzi schemes, right as we're supposed to get our pension funds that we've invested uh, you know, in these private systems, it's all gone in derivatives, and then we get the internal Goldman Sachs emails. They knew all about it. We know it was premeditated, and so they're holding the yuppies hostage saying, if you want your goodies, you better go along with total government and really raping younger people. Now, will they buy into that? Stefan, how do you see all this coming together? Well, look, I mean, there is a very strong problem, a huge problem that governments around the world are facing at the moment, which is that they have no money to pay off the Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid bills that, that are due. And like anybody who's caught with their pants down, who's not a very good person, the first thing that governments are trying to do is to create a scapegoat as to why the money isn't there. 
and they're going to have a lot of explaining to do, as Ricky Ricardo used to say. They're going to have a lot of explaining to do to the population who have no other options. They've been taxed so heavily. Uh, their savings have been pillaged. Their houses have been devalued. They have nothing, or a lot of people have almost nothing to retire on. I mean, the majority of Americans are literally living pennies to pennies, paycheck to paycheck. They have nothing to retire on. So governments have no money to pay them. And so what are they going to do? Well, they create a crisis, they pillage what's left, and then they can blame the banks and they can blame capitalism, they can blame freedom, and then they can move in and say, well, you know, we tried giving your retirement money to the stock market, but the stock market pillaged it all, so now we're going to have to take over even more. It really is up to people who've got the economic knowledge and intelligence and hopefully communications abilities to remind people that the problem is not the handshake. The problem is always the gun. The gun, the gun, the gun in the room is what is always causing the problem. The fact that a government has the monopoly on violence is what is causing all these problems. The stock market is a completely bizarre and mutated entity relative to its original It's purpose. totally rigged and I want you to get into that and, and the whole system of government being a gang with a flag and a propaganda core. But but going back, because I want you to quantify this, and I want to quantify my position. Uh, yes, they are using uh, what's happened with the banks as a way to demonize capitalism, but that's free market, free will, moral capitalism, not the crony, fascist, insider uh, capitalism, uh, the, 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 the predatory capitalism isn't capitalism at all. It's big mega corporations using government to consolidate power. So it's the mega elite on record preparing to scapegoat the middle class, smaller banks, and the free market for what they've done. Well, that's exactly right. Uh, if you think of a, a you know, a, a sort of a neighborhood where there's a big mafia, the mafia goes and takes all of this money by threatening shopkeepers and honest workers. The mafia goes and takes all of this money, and then the mafia spends all this money on different things, you know, catering and parties and, and sedans or whatever. And so a lot of businesses become dependent upon the mafia's spending habits, and they then, in a sense, work to legitimize the mafia because that's who they become dependent on for their income. And so what's going to happen is people really only see the businesses. They don't see the government at the root of it. And so the, the businesses become a convenient scapegoat, though I would not say that all businesses are entirely innocent of collusion with the state. But yeah, it's really important to remember that the, the, the money that is collected and printed and manufactured and borrowed by government flows out into the economy and it creates a lot of, uh, you know, like sharks have those little striped fish that hang around and pick up the uh, bits of fish that they chew. There's a lot of fascistic corporations hanging off the government's yes, money government hose. empowers those fascistic corporations. That's why they're always lobbying to expand it. And out of 100 largest economies, almost half of them are not countries. They're now private corporations. So that's my issue with pure anarchists sometimes is they see a company as a company when they really operate as a government. And then they create artificial clones of uh, real moves to liberty, they create privatization, but it isn't really privatization. Uh, yeah. It is a private group now becoming quasi-government. Well, look, corporations are state entities. It's really important to remember corporations were created in the 19th century to give executives a lack of, to exclude them from liability for what their, what their company did. And in return for this exclusion of liability, the, uh, the uh, corporate executives agree to pay taxes, right? So it's a bribe to the government in, form, in the form of corporate taxes in return for the exclusion from liability for whatever their companies do. And that's really the fundamentals. There's no such thing as a corporation as we currently understand it now. There would be never any such thing without the government. It is a state-created predatory monster. But it's really, really important to remember that these things would have no power without the violence of the state uh, driving uh, all of this money and all of this power. We have to, in, in a sense, look past the corruptions of the corporations, which is a mere effect of state power and look at the root of evil, which is the gun held to the neck of the average citizen to pay taxes, to be a tax livestock uh, and to be obedient, to send their kids to school, to submit to authority. It's the gun, not the effects of the gun that we need to focus on. Well, I agree with you that if you go back 235 years ago when this country got founded, there were no corporations. And then about 160 years ago, in a few limited cases, government would want to build a bridge or a railroad and robber barons, the Carnegies, the Rockefellers, the, the, the usual suspects, 
on record came and said, give us a corporation then for liability protection, and it would only be for the life of the construction project. <laughs> now here we are with corporations that have immunity, that have rights that never go away. Well, yeah, and look, executives get to take the profits out of a corporation.